Question on many minds tonight, what took so long? Turns out the Queen City did have cases of the potentially paralyzing and deadly enterovirus D68 as far back as six weeks ago, but no one knew until now. Cincinnati Children sent samples to the CDC for testing during the second week of September. In the last 24 hours, it was confirmed Cincinnati had 11 cases. That's a difference of about six weeks. So what took so long? We sent Evan Millward to get those answers. He joins us now live with the results. Evan. What it really boils down to is a big backlog at the CDC's labs. Cincinnati Children says it had no idea it would take this long to get the samples back. But this might surprise you. Most tri-state area doctors say it really doesn't matter. Call it the perfect storm. States start asking for enterovirus D68 tests as Ebola fears grow. That's why the Ohio Health Department says it has taken so long for the CDC to confirm cases of EVD68 here. But parents can relax. They shouldn't have been concerned because once there is a positive at that hospital or in that community, then the doctors can very well diagnose that yes, we do have EVD. You're showing these signs and symptoms. EVD 68 is widely considered gone here in Cincinnati and across the country, but health officials still want to know why it's linked to paralysis in some kids. That's really why they test, because treating one virus like this doesn't change from another. So adding the type of virus is more of interest uh, in an epidemiologic, public health, academic sense than any difference for the, the child ill from it. Just two weeks ago, the CDC admitted this was taking too long and improved testing to nearly real time. But enterovirus was just a prelude to cold and flu season. Do we have the capacity to, to deal with the testing? I think it depends on what the situation is. Were this to be an illness that were more severe than it was, were there to be treatment decisions based on that. I think you would see a different response. Well, the doctors here in our area now turn their attention to the flu. They say the kids who are the highest risk for EVD-68, those with pre-existing breathing problems, are also at very high risk for the flu. They reminded me, multiple of them today, make sure your kids get your flu shots. We're live outside Cincinnati Children's. Evan Millward, 9 on your side.